100,000 on a beat. Natureholics, welcome back to Nature Sports Center. What a weekend we have ahead of us. UFC 292, what a card. I've been waiting for this one for a long time coming. As people who know me know I'm a Sugar O'Malley fan. You know, I'm quite skeptic about this fight. You know, Sterling being such a good wrestler and the winning streak that he's on. And you've got to just give it to Raheem Sterling. You know, he's probably the best bantamweight to ever live. So before I go into the UFC, we're going to speak about the football first. So Arsenal are away to Crystal Palace this weekend. We need to go get that W for sure. Keep the momentum up and keep it going. Um, also, Manchester City. Manchester City are uh, playing Newcastle. Hopefully Newcastle can take some points off them. I know it's going to be a big ask, but hopefully let's see how it goes. Timbar got injured for us as well. So he's ACL. He tore his, whole, his ACL completely. And I'm sure he's going to be out for at least six, seven months um, minimum, probably. So that's sad, man, to see. And, you know, I was looking forward to having Timba on the squad. What, like, what a fullback, what a defender in general he is. Like, he's so good at defending, he's good at attacking, he's fast, he's strong. So, yeah, man, I think Timba's going to be a big miss for us. But, um, yes, yeah, Spurs are also playing United. You know, two two of my most hated teams, but I'm going to go with United. Hopefully, United can take some... You know, I'll always go against the team, against Spurs, you know. Fuck Spurs. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, Man City is Newcastle. We're hoping Newcastle can take some points off Manchester City. And now we're going to get into the UFC card. Guys, what a UFC card. I'm going to start from... The main, uh, you know what? Let's see. Let's have a look at the preliminary as well. See if there's any fights that, you know, um, I want to watch. I know the content, um, the Ultimate Fighter finals are going to be on the prelims, which I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to seeing Chris Weidman come back. The last time we saw Chris Weidman in the octagon, he snapped his leg completely in half, jelly-like. It was fucking horrible to see. And then we see Conor McGregor do it after him. But um, yeah, man. Um, Chris Weidman was a legend in the game, all-round great fighter. I'm excited to see how he comes back and performs, you know. I'm really rooting for him because just the journey to go on that journey to snap your leg completely and to bounce back the way he has. Not like, well, obviously we haven't seen him fight yet, but to bounce back, that motivation, that um, mentality of just like, fuck this, I'm going to get back to how I was and I'm going to be even better than I was. Even if he doesn't end up being better, just that mentality is elite, man. So yeah, big up Chris Weidman. And then on the early prelims, there's the Andre Petrovsky fight, there's the Gerald Mershiak fight. I'm looking forward to that one as well. Battle of the Vets, I guess. Well, not Vets, Vets. You know, Gerald Mershia is a vet, but, you know, Petrovsky's um, one who, I'm pretty sure he came in through the Ultimate Fighter, or Contender. But he's been around a bit now in the UFC, and um, yeah, let's see how that goes. I think it's Battle of the Wrestlers there, to be honest with you. And then let's start off with the main card. Let's just get straight into fucking do, like, talking about the main card, man. We've got fucking Marlon Vera with these Pedro Munoz. The last time we saw Vera, um, I'm pretty sure he's coming off a couple losses now. Uh, who did Mar Marlon Vera win against Sanhagen, I think, last and lost. And Pedro, Men Mon Pedro Munoz beat Gutierrez, um, if I'm not wrong. I think I'm right. So, yeah, Marlon Vera coming off a loss, Munoz coming off a win. But I've still got Cheeto Vera to win this fight, man. Cheeto's um, an elite fighter and I really want him to win, so... Maybe perhaps in the next fight he can go against Shugo Marley if Shugo Marley goes and gets the W2. Next we have Mario Batista. He's Damon Blackshear. Damon Blackshear, what an absolute fucking legend, Damon. You are coming off. You fought last week. He literally fought last week, guys, and he's fighting this week on the on the next card. That's unbelievable. He's just broken the record, which I'm pretty sure it was Kamzat's record. As you guys know, Kamzat's my favourite fighter. So I'm pretty sure he just beat Kamzat's record with the fastest turnaround. 
I'm pretty sure Kamzat's record was like two weeks and now this guy's done it in a week, which is epic. So, um, yeah, man, big up Blackshear, but he has got a big ass against Mario Batista and that's going to be a great fight as well. One to watch out for too. Next, we have the Irishman, Ian Gary, vs Neil Magny. Um, you guys know I like Ian Gary. I know he talks a lot of shit. And, you know, a lot of people are saying, ah, oh, he thinks he's the next Conor McGregor. But listen, you got to have that bit, you got to have that bit of um, oomph about you outside the ring, man. If you, if you want to flourish in the UFC, it's evident that it's proven that you can go out there, fight amazing and that. But you need to have some personality and character for people to really make you a star, you know. And um, yeah, he's facing a, t a tough fight in Neil Magny. Neil Magny, an all-round great fighter. I think Neil Magny's going to try and take it to wrestling. Whether he's going to be able to get Ian Gary down, let's see. I think if it stays standing, um, Neil Magny's going to have some troubles. Like, Ian Gary is an elite striker, man. We saw it against D-Rod. My boy D-Rod. Um, you know, D-Rod's an elite striker for me as well. So we saw two elite strikers go against each other. And Ian Gary got the W that time. But... Like me, I spoke about with D Rod. I really believe that it could be anyone's day between those two guys. Those like when you when it's elite um, striker, if he's elite striker, anything can really happen, right? And um, yeah, so I'm gonna go with Gary on that one, but you know it's gonna be a tough fight. And then next we have Amanda, Amanda Lemos v Wei Zhang. So um, Zhang Li, yeah, um, champion, probably um, one of the. I don't know about one. I don't know about the best strawweight ever, but she's definitely one of the best strawweights ever. All round great fighter. We saw her lose her title. We saw her come back and get her title. Um, big inspiration that I get from Zhang. And um, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a battle because Amanda Lemos is not a walkover, right? She's not a walkover at all. But at the end of the day, Zhang is a beast, and I'm excited to see this one, man. But I'm gonna go Zhang anyway. And the main fight of the night is Aljamain Sterling, the champion v Sean O'Malley. I actually like both fighters. I'm a big O'Malley fan, but I like both fighters. The only thing I don't like about Sugar, I'll be honest with you, is that he's got a 6'9 tattoo and that he fucks with 6'9 because, you know, I, I don't, look, I'm, I used to live that street life. I don't live that street life no more, but I still don't condone snitching, man. If you're going to be involved in that life, you can't tell on people. Even though the people that he told on really didn't give a shit about him and were fucking like his baby mother behind his back. But anyway, let's get back to the sports. So yeah, Sh Sean O'Malley vs. Aljamain Sterling. As people know, I've actually had interactions with Sugar before in my life. I actually gave him a few joints in Arizona and the screen came on him as I was giving him the joints and he was lighting them up in the stadium, which was pretty dope. Um, but yeah, man, I'm going to go with Sugar O'Malley. Um, I'm hoping that he keeps it standing. I know it's going to be very hard for him to keep it standing, but I do believe if he can keep it standing against Aljamain Sterling, it's going to be a long night for Aljamain. However, if Aljamain can take Sugar O'Malley down, it's going to be a long night for Sugar O'Malley. So, it can go either way. I know Sterling's the favourite, you know. It's going to be a big ass from Sugar. I know Sugar's been working hard. I know Sugar has not been on Twitch. He hasn't been streaming or nothing. He's dedicated all his time into fighting so he can be the best version of himself coming into this fight, which um, I think is a, is a great decision to make. So, yeah, man. I'm going to go with Sugar Marley. But either way, I still believe Sterling's a beast. Best bantamweight ever. Great fighter. I like him outside the octagon as well. I think he's cool, man. Like, um, I don't have nothing against him. And, yeah, let's see how it goes. So, yeah, guys, that's the wrap-up for the weekend. I'll see you guys next week where we'll talk about what happened and we'll probably talk about the Contender series coming up. Oh, yeah, talking of Contender, big up Gregorius. Big up Gregorius, Sharon Lambos Gregorius, my Cypriot brother. Came on the Contender, fucking underdog, and did his fucking goddamn thing in the fucking first round. Big up Gregorius, my guy. So, yeah, man. Everyone keep your eyes on the Cypriot. I think he's going to be big shit in the UFC. And as people know, I love my culture. I love my country. And I'm definitely going to be supporting him the whole way. And I'm looking to even get him on the podcast as well. So people, watch out for that one. 
Anyways, guys, enjoy the fights. I will be back tomorrow. Um, I will be back on Saturday at 3 p.m. Pacific time, which is 11 p.m. UK time, and I will be watching the UFC on stream with the boys here. Okay? So, guys, have a great one, and take care. Bye-bye.